All right, guys, it's time to go over our sentence fixer for day three. I hope that you tried to make as many corrections as possible on your own, and now you are watching this to see what you may have missed and see how many you got right. So I'm going to read the whole paragraph as I have been exactly how it says with no corrections. Anne was going to a dance on Saturday night at Spring Hill High School in Columbia, Tennessee. She bought it a pink dress with a purple bows. Her brother, Tim, wasn't going because he was sick. She hopes the music is danceful. I love to dance, said Anne, on the ways to the school. So this one sounded a little bit better than yesterday's, but we definitely have quite a few corrections to make. The first correction I would like to start with is our very first word is an, and that starts our sentence and it's a proper noun. So an definitely needs a capital A. An was going to. So the two they used means also. So if it has two O's, it means also. So an was going also a dance when it makes sense but Anne was going to a dance with one O would me make sense because T-O means you are going somewhere. So we're just going to cross off the second O in that too. A dance on Saturday. Saturday is a specific day and it is a proper noun so that Saturday needs a capital S. Night. Again, they're using the night like the knight in shining armor. And that is not the one we need to use for this paragraph. We need to use N-I-G-H-T. So you can either mark out that K or cross out the whole word and write it above. Either way works. At Spring Hill High School. So Spring Hill High School is a specific place. So Spring needs a capital S. Hill needs a capital H. High needs a capital H, and school needs a capital S. Don't just um, capitalize Spring Hill. It's the whole thing, Spring Hill High School. In Columbia, Tennessee. So in Columbia, Columbia is a specific city, so it needs a capital C because it is a proper noun. Tennessee already has a capital T, so that one is good. But when we list a city and then the state, we put a comma in between them. So like Ashland, Kentucky would be Ashland with a capital A, comma, Kentucky. So Columbia will be Columbia with a capital C, comma, Tennessee. And then that's the end of our first sentence, so we need to add some punctuation. It is not asking a question. It's not a very exciting sentence, so we just add a period to show that it's a statement. She bought it a pink dress with a purple bows. That one's even hard to read. So, as always, we start our sentence with a capital letter, so she needs a capital S. Bought it is not the correct way to say buying something in the past tense. So she bought. So we're going to cross out that ED because bought is already past tense. So we don't need to add an ED at the end. A pink dress with a purple's bows. So we need to cross out that A because listen to the sentence without the A. She bought a pink dress with purple bows. Sounds so much better than she bought it a pink dress with a purple bows. So we also need to take out the S on purples because the color isn't plural. Purple is just purple. Um, so we're going to eliminate that S. And so just cross that out and then let's read it to make sure it's completely right. She bought a pink dress with purple bows. Sounds much better. So now we need to add punctuation after bows. It is going to have a period. It's not asking a question. It's not exciting. It's just a statement about the dress that she bought. So after our period after bows, then we have her brother Tim wasn't. So her needs to be a capital H because it's starting a new sentence. Brother is good. 
Tim. Tim is a specific person. He's a proper noun, so he needs a capital T. Wasn't. So they did a very good job of attempting to do the um, contraction, but they added an extra apostrophe. So it should be W-A-S-N apostrophe T, and then we can eliminate that apostrophe afterwards. Going because he was sick. So now we have her brother Tim wasn't going because he was sick, and that sounds good. So let's add some punctuation after the word sick. We can add another period because it's, again, not asking a question, and it's not an exciting sentence. She hopes the music is danceful. Well, I don't know about you, but I've never heard the word danceful. So she starts our sentence, so it needs to be a capital S. She hopes the music is danceful. What could we replace danceful with? Danceable, which is also a word we don't hear very often, but it is actually a word. So, danceful becomes danceable, and I'll spell that for you. D-A-N-C-E-A-B-L-E. -E. Then we need to add some punctuation to finish that sentence. And again, it's not asking a question. It's not exciting. So we're just going to add a period. Our last sentence. Yay. I love to dance, said Anne on the ways to the school. So Anne is saying, I love to dance. So we're going to put our quotation marks around I love to dance. So we need two quotation marks in front of I, which looks, it looks like two apostrophes, but it's not two apostrophes, but that is what it looks like. So two quotation marks in front of I, and then I love to dance. So after dance, we need two more quotation marks on the other side. I needs to be capitalized. I is always capitalized if it's by itself, but it is also starting our sentence. We also need to add a comma after the word dance. Said Anne. Anne needs a capital A because she is a specific person making her a proper noun on the ways to the school. So on the ways. We normally take one way to school. There could be multiple ways, but in this sentence, having an S on way doesn't make sense. So we're going to eliminate that S off of ways. And then to the school. So this is like when people say the Walmart or the Dollar General. We don't need that the. You can say Walmart without the the in front of it. And you can say Dollar General without the the in front of it. So we're just going to cross out that the because we don't need it. In school, they did a very good job of attempting to spell school, but it is spelled wrong. School is spelled S-C-H-O-O-L. And then finally, our punctuation. It's not an exciting sentence. It's not asking a question. So again, we are ending with a period. So after you've made all these corrections, you're going to write your paragraph the correct way on the lines at the bottom. And I'm going to scroll past so you can kind of see, um, make sure that you've got all the corrections. Oop, I'm too close. All right, guys, I am taping math next. Hope to see you there again. Love and miss you.